see how long this takes me to set this up. First up, then down, put the back stands under it, and then go back up, the front stands under it. Your shovel, I think it's in the car. You want to say hi to the people? Nope. <laughs> okay. I will go, go play in the sandbox. Okay, you go play in the sandbox. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we are camping in our 1968 Playmore. And uh, as it seems to always do when we plan a camping trip, the weather changes. And we were hoping for a little bit of cool weather and, and maybe see some of the trees changing colors here in northern Arkansas. But, as it would turn out, the weather is forecasted to be more like uh, in the 20s overnight. We do have a little space heater. I think it'll be just fine. We're going to have to cozy up, I'm afraid. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, camper set up. And uh, I didn't actually look at my watch to see how long that took, but uh, maybe 20 minutes? I did hook up the water. I haven't actually turned it on yet because I don't know how I feel about it freezing in the line over the night or having to then empty it before it gets cold tonight. So I'll just play that out. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a look around and see what we can see. So we're staying here at Shady Oaks Campground and RV Park, which is about 15 minutes outside of Harrison, Arkansas. There's chickens, there's some cute bunnies, there's a really great rec center that's full of games, pool, foosball. Uh, there's some TVs in there so you can really hang out and have fun. They've got a playground with lots of playground equipment and swings, which Simon really loved. They have hot showers, which we definitely took advantage of. The bathrooms are really nice and clean. There's a laundry room with a dishwashing sink if you're tent camping. And the whole RV park is butted right up against some nice pasture land that's super picturesque and of course means that it's nice and quiet you don't have to worry about a lot of traffic noise overall 10 out of 10 would definitely camp here again and probably we will be back and will camp here again Okay, so I'm gonna get dishes done now, and uh, we're gonna take a shower. Probably hit the hay. It's gonna be a chilly one, so fingers crossed we get through the night okay. Tomorrow I'll give you a tour of the campground. Wishes luck.
Okay, since we're done with our morning explorations, I thought I'd kind of show you around our camper now that we've changed a few things and set it up a little bit differently. So we do our cooking outside. So we've got our grill set up on this little table that we always just leave set out here. To the uh, side of the table, we have our cooler style refrigerator, which has been amazing. Uh, this one was only, I want to say about $400. We got it off Amazon and uh, I would definitely recommend it. I haven't looked to see if they're still available on Amazon, but uh, uh, this is much better than using an ice chest. This hanging on our door is just a shoe organizer, but it's actually really handy for just putting stuff that you grab as you go out the door in. So like it's got just like trash bags and mittens and stuff like that. It also sort of takes the place of blinds for our door window. Uh, it's a, a little bit of a problem if we have to open the window, but uh, where it's been pretty cool, uh, we haven't had to do that. Yes, we do have a toilet. Well, Simon has a toilet anyway. He's pretty well potty trained, but uh, on these road trips, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's still easier to have this with us when you need it. If only we're a little bigger. So this here is our front bunk and it's just the uh, old mattress we had. It's got a sheet wrapped over it. We got a nice heavy blanket. Uh, it's, it's reasonably comfortable, but it's pretty basic. Doesn't turn into a table or anything like that, but you can sit on it like a couch. It's, it's, it does what we need it to. Uh, this big drawer has Catherine's clothes and my clothes in it and a few other little, you know, charge cables and, and uh, things like that. And then this one is just all of Simon's clothes and some books for him. Uh, we do have our uh, power converter box and our fuse panel is over here on the very far side, but I hardly ever need to access that, so I forget it's even there. So over here is our kitchen area, which uh, really hasn't changed much since we originally built the camper. Up here is just some kind of miscellaneous kitchen stuff, uh, a few snacks and whatnot, and uh, paper plates, paper towels. And over here is our fuse panel, which I do need to access, uh, you know, when we plug and unplug the uh, cord, but otherwise I don't really need to get in there very often. On the counter, we've got our sink. I've got uh, my coffee making stuff and just some nice little decorations, you know, make it feel a little more homey in here. Our downstairs cabinets are pretty basic as well. Uh, and we don't really have anything in them. There's just like some zip ties and gloves. There's nothing at all in this drawer. This is just a little pullout. This, I haven't shown it, but I put a shelf in there. And so we've just got some, uh, uh, we've got like some mosquito coils and a lighter. Uh, down here, this basket has uh, towels and toiletries and stuff in it. And then we do have our little uh, dish strainer down there. Oh, and there's also a fire extinguisher and all that good stuff. The thing is, overall, we really don't use the kitchen cabinets in here. And, and that's mostly because we do our cooking outside, like I said. So we've got a bin in the back of the Jeep that has all of our kitchen utensils and supplies and stuff in it. So I just pull that out and set it under the table outside when I'm going to do the cooking and do it there. So this is all space that we could use for other storage but on these little short trips like this we really don't need that much storage. So here in the back is where our new RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding is. Really happy to have this. Uh, it really makes sleeping here so much better. I'm really happy overall with having done the the permanent bed conversion back here. It's just so much more convenient for how we sleep and how we camp and uh, you know it fits an actual mattress so uh, it's perfect. Couldn't be happier with it. I don't really need to access anything under here, although I did have to lift this up and climb back over by where I put an outlet for an air conditioner so that I could plug in an extension cord to run outside and uh, so I could also plug in my heater. But uh, otherwise, um, it's perfect. Doesn't that look comfy? probably remember a few videos back when I spent the time, you know, installing this air conditioner in the camper so that we could camp when it was uh, warm out. And now we have highs in the 50s and lows in the 20s. So this hasn't really been very useful. What has been really useful 
is I uh, converted the camper to a 30 amp inlet so that I could run this thing. Well, that also gives me sufficient power and safety margin to run a electric heater. And this was wonderful. Uh, you know, the temperatures were in the upper 20s last night, and we had this on the almost lowest setting it could be at, and it was still nice and warm in here, so wouldn't have done it without this, though. <laughs> right here in this nice long tunnel that now goes all the way to the back, we've got a basket for our shoes, and then behind there, we've got a basket for our dirty clothes. That goes back there, that goes there. What more do you need? Oh, and hey, check this out. This is something that Catherine found recently. It just goes on the wall like that. You can grab it on the way out the door, carry it to the restroom with you. Pretty cool. Oh, and it's USB rechargeable, so. Pretty cool little toy. All right, folks, I think that's going to do it for this one. Let me know if you have any tiny camper questions. If you have any favorite Arkansas camping destinations, let us know, because I'm pretty positive we're going to be back. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.